Hey guys, welcome back to another unexpected upload. I hope I'm not annoying you with the frequent uploads. I have another video coming out tomorrow as well. But, um, I decided to make this video because I've said it a lot in my past videos that I'm very passionate about mental health awareness, and this is kind of like my ode to it. Um, so I just wanted to discuss some topics and also be a little bit vulnerable with you guys in this video. So if anything related to, like, mental health struggles, um, illnesses, dissociation may trigger you, then I suggest that you click out of this video. Otherwise, um, I hope that this video may help some of you out there that might relate, or if you don't relate, then maybe it can educate you a little bit about mental health and those that may be struggling around you. Um, like, just watch this for relaxation to my ramble. <laughs> but yeah, so, I kind of just, I was literally just washing dishes a few minutes ago, and I was thinking about it, and I was like, yeah, I kind of want to talk about this because I feel like it's definitely become more of an accepted topic um, in society now, mental health wise, but it's still a stigma and so it, regardless, it's still something that needs to be talked about more and I wanted to jump on the train. Um, if I'm being honest with you, I've been struggling a lot recently um, with my mental health. I was doing great and then suddenly just like a snap of a finger I went crashing back down. And if you relate again to anything that I say, I want you to know that you're not alone and that it's normal and yeah. So I've been struggling with depression and, you know, other mental struggles for years now, and definitely something that I wish was more out in the world was compassion and understanding. There will be people who don't get why you feel like the way you do, people who judge you or even criticize you, and I want you to know that you can avoid that. I assure you that there are people in this world who will open their arms to you and that you can confide in, me being one of them. I know this is an ASMR channel, but I think a lot of ASMR goes into or intertwines with mental health. Obviously, it helps with depression, anxiety, insomnia, and that's really like the big reason why I love ASMR is that or, and also why I like making videos of my own is that I know that I can possibly help everyone out there that has watched me, whether it be to simply wind down and relax after a long day, or, sorry, that was my dad, to help with, you know, bigger mental struggles. So, yeah, um, I guess I'll just talk about depression a little bit. Um, so yeah, uh, if you struggle with it too, um, it's definitely, it's very painful, um, physically and mentally, like, some, it, you could just really feel that physical fatigue, and like, I guess it's different for everyone, but like, burn even, that may sound dramatic for those who don't really quite get it, but it really is a lot to hold and carry with you every day. For me, when it gets really bad, I start, like, dissociating, um, and if you struggle with that as well, I want to affirm you that you are safe, you are okay, um, sorry, <laughs> yeah, you are safe, you are okay, you're not going crazy, I promise you. 
I feel like that's kind of relatable. We feel like we're going absolutely insane sometimes, but you're not. I think we should really stress the importance of taking time to ground ourselves and obviously different things can help you. What helps me personally is getting back in touch with nature. I don't go on walks very often. I should definitely exercise a lot more than I do, but I think that, you know, just going outside, feeling the breeze, feeling the sun, looking at the trees, anywhere where it's like just peaceful serenity really helps ground me and makes me appreciate things, appreciate my living, breathing existence and everything else around me in that moment, especially when I feel very unmotivated and like I might not even want to be on this planet anymore. And yeah, but other things that could help you is like anything that you find enjoyable. Your recreational activities, indulge in those days. They make you happy for a reason. For me, obviously I like making ASMR videos, but I also like crocheting. I like picking up new hobbies. Like recently I started making bracelets and it's just like the little things that help me unwind, take my mind off, like the pain a little bit. And appreciate the little things in life. That's why I really stress. I really stress finding beauty in things that we may take for granted a lot of times that we may look past. Because when everything else feels like a total nightmare, I feel like it's really affirming to find even one little thing that you can appreciate and really dwell on that. Sorry, I got a text. Anyways, this is an uncut video. I'm not going to edit this just so it's like genuine, but yeah, um, What I want to talk about. <laughs> and like I said, um, like I've said many times before, your mental health is your number one priority over anything in your life. I promise you, you need to be taking care of yourself before you expend your energy into anything else because you need to make sure you're good before everything else is good. So, another thing I want to talk about is getting professional help. Um, I know that it's... That's my dad again. <laughs> he makes a lot of weird sounds. Um, yeah, so I know that it's not for everybody. Um, but I do encourage you, if you really need it, to go get some help. It can be professional help. That might work for you. I feel like you should give it a try if you are able to have access to it, take advantage of it. Um, but if it's not your thing, then I s still highly advise you to seek help in any other way. Reach out to somebody. Don't keep your feelings bottled up. And if you don't have anybody, I will take you in. You can message me on Instagram can comment down below and rant. I will be there for you. You can email me as well. Um, if you email me or DM me on Instagram, then everything will be kept private. And I will try my best to be there for you. Um, whether you just want someone to listen, whether you want comfort, or if you seek my advice, I will give that to you. Um, I feel like I should do some triggers in the background or it'll get boring. <laughs> I'm saying that as I'm 10 minutes in. But yeah. Um, so, this is our channel. I want this to be a safe space for everybody that stumbles upon my videos, that subscribes, that interacts with my channel in any way. I want you to know that while you're here, you are safe, you're not judged. If you struggle with anxiety or 
mental health disorders, illnesses, anything of the sort, understand that, or know that I understand you, and if I can't relate to you on a, like, first person level, or personal experience level, then I still don't judge you, all your feelings are valid, and you deserve to feel validated. try to get to all of you in my comments so that you feel acknowledged whether it just be liking your comment or replying um i think my channel isn't that all that big but i think i still have a platform that's growing and that i'm building on and i want to build it off a positive foundation so yeah i'm not sure what feedback i'm gonna get on this video, I've never really gotten so vulnerable before. I mean, I still feel like I haven't really dove into it on a deeper level. But I hope that this may have helped you or resonated with you in some type of way. I'm trying to think of other things that I want to talk about since this is not going to be edited and I can't just, you know, sit here wondering if I forgot anything. saying all your feelings are valid whether you are sad right now because of something that happened in your life recently that's affecting you negatively or if you have a chronic you know mental disorder depression no matter what you are deserving of allowing yourself time to heal um Especially those with chronic illnesses, I 100% get you. It's a lot to, I guess, accept sometimes. Like, oh my gosh, when am I ever going to feel normal? When, I've ever, when am I ever going to feel stable? Will I ever, you know, like, I don't think I'm ever going to live in peace. And I, I just want to let you know that those are totally normal thoughts to have. Um, I think that when there are things that we can't control, it's just, like, more so about learning acceptance. If you can't control it, you have to accept it. If you can change it, change it. If you can't, adapt to it and make the best out of it. Um, that's what I've definitely learned. Don't you hate when you spray perfume right in your mouth? Yes, I do too. Yeah, this is a chili pepper that I didn't include in my video yesterday. It didn't make the best like textured sounds, but yeah, I have a lot, like I said, of these like fake fruits and vegetables downstairs in my kitchen, and I feel like they would make a really good video. Um or tapping, scratching sounds, but I'm trying to stray away from those because I've gotten quite a few suggestions telling me to expand in my um, ASMR content repertoire, like telling me to make role plays and all that stuff, and I definitely agree I need to branch out. Um, I just need to find the time to sit down and make those videos. But yeah, they're coming, don't worry. Let's see, yeah, I'm trying to think of something else I want to talk about before I end the video. I had like so much stuff going through my brain when I'm like sitting here on the spot. I'm like, mm, my mind is blank.
think I'm gonna end this video here. If I have anything else to say, or anything else that I want to discuss, then I'll probably come back and make another video. If that's something that you guys would want. But yeah, I just wanted to spread some mental health awareness today, tonight, and remember that you are loved, cared for, you are intelligent, beautiful, kind, strong, you're a good person, and I'm so proud of you for how far you've come. Anything that you've struggled with in the past, I'm so proud of you for overcoming it. And